Y'all went bananas for my last video on Sing, which honestly absolutely took me by surprise. I don't know, I just thought the video was gonna be a risky one, but damn if it didn't just pop off. Of course, I have absolutely no complaints about that. But in the comments, there was essentially a riot because I didn't include one song where the elephant lady sang. Her name is Mina and people were riled. Don't worry, I've made sure to include that song in this video and I just realized that I said don't worry, which she sings, don't worry. Be happy because I have included the video. <laughs> Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored there if that's your thing. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. And because I don't say it enough, follow me on Instagram. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Why did, I, why did I make that noise? I'm sorry. The first song, well, I'm actually not sure if it's a song or if it's just like a clip because I think it might be a promo for Sing 2, but with a song. Oh my God, I just realized there are eyes there. Woo, that's creepy. I've been looking at this in my periphery and I did not notice jump scare. Anyway, this clip is titled, Let's Get Crazy Scene. Oh, well, there's the elephant. I'm gonna hear her sing here before the other one. Alice in Wonderland, hello. Has somebody spiked my drink? <laughs> How does this movie? Well, this is the second movie, so I guess this series of movies keep surprising me in the most unexpected ways. You know, in the previous video, I was just constantly surprised by the incredible quality and the fun singing. Here, I'm like, good God, what is this nightmarish drug trip I've been taken on? And can I get off this ride, please? It's like an ungodly mix between Alice in Wonderland and that horrifying scene from the original Willy Wonka. I was not prepared for demon flowers. I mean, I guess they kind of look fret. Did not. Is she like the Cheshire Cat? I mean, she slayed in the last one. I'm so keen for her. I mean, they're going all in on the Alice in Wonderland. I mean, it, it's kind of making me bop. <laughs> it's cute. Oh my god. It's like fearfully bopping. <laughs> I mean, what, what are they trying to get her to do? Oh, who could resist, you know? I would jump in among... It's a stage what? Wait, how did that... Huh. Wait. I mean, I know it's a cartoon, so they can sort of do whatever they want, but didn't we see the other angle and it turned around like she came from in a wall? Okay. Why... Okay, I was about to look up who's singing that, and then they hit me with, we're all gonna die, and show her skeleton. What the f*** is this movie? Actually, I don't know why I bothered looking up who sings it, because everyone said Tori Kelly, while they were yelling at me for not including her song. Maybe it's good, we're all gonna die. Maybe it's good, we're all gonna die. Do, this is so surreal. It's kind of motivating and terrifying. You better get living because you're gonna die. Oh my God. Such clean notes, beautiful. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the other pick, right. Oh my God. If I was an audience member, I would be like terrified. Oh my God. She she is just like slaying with those notes. Uh, I guess it sets a tone for the audience. Oh my God, what a flourish. She's just a skeleton now. Oh. A quick chain. Okay, well, somehow that feels like a weirder introduction than I got in the first video. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I'm inspired, impressed, and vaguely threatened. Are you going to kill me? Because if so, please don't. I just wonder if there's gonna be a single moment in this video where I'm not shook. Somehow I doubt it, but let's find out with the next song. It's from Sing 2, and it's called Could Have Been Me. Mission report. My search takes me to the second planet. Why does this feel like Buzz Lightyear? Here we go, Portia. Time to show Whoa, oh, it's her! She did Girl on Fire. 
Okay. It, hold on. Is that Halsey? Oh my god, it is Halsey. What? I mean, it, it, do, it does sound like her, so I shouldn't be too impressed for getting that right. She is killing it. Oh my god. This is so suited to her voice. Oh, she has such a rank. Was that her singing Girl on Fire in the last video? Oh my god, if that's Halsey and I didn't pick it, wow. I feel like I'm getting a bit of versatility from her and I am here for it. And now I'm just extra excited to see how this chorus is gonna hit, smack me in the face, give me a black eye. Who the heck are you? Where's my security? We're security now. What? Oh, is that the dad? <laughs> What's he doing? I didn't expect a fight scene. Oh my god, I love this and I love her. Her vibe is incredible. <laughs> her little squeak. Oh my god, sorry. Rip to that cheetah or leopard or whatever it is because my boy is about to die. Oh, they cut away from it because they can't show death. Look at that is like, he's like dabbing midair too. Does he not want her singing? <laughs> the rebellion! Okay, I'm just loving her more now. What? Are they projections, holograms, or are they all individual animals? Uh, where is King Julian then? I love him! <laughs> you traitor. Traitor? She's traitorous for... <laughs> wow, okay. Just imprison him. Damn. He's like the opposite kind of father to the gorilla then because the gorilla was supportive and wanted his son to sing if he wanted. Whereas this guy's like, you shan't sing. That is traitorous somehow. And he literally got violent in order to try and prevent it. Oh. I... I actually thought it was a key change, but I think they've just shifted the style. Oh my god, they're around her now. This feels so anthemic! That is a beautiful note. What a lovely note to end on. And a very weird costume still. Damn, I hope she's happy. Ah, that's so cute. She's just living her best life even if her father disapproves and is a dick. Well, actually, I just assumed he was her father. I feel like maybe she mentioned it in the Girl on Fire clip. And I guess they're both like wolves, so I'm probably right, but I don't think they ever mentioned that maybe, I don't know. I also just want to quickly say that that was a really cute and motivational song. Like, if you listen to the lyrics, the whole point seems to be like, I don't want to miss opportunities, I don't want to look back and wonder, I just want to do what I want and seize the moment. And to be honest, I welcome any reminder of that. I need it. I need that in my life. For the next song I feel like we're revisiting like the covers of older songs because this one's called I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. Although I just realized it's not like that old, I don't think. I knew that the original was by U2, but you know what I didn't know? I just googled. It was 1987. Good lord. I was here like, oh, I don't know if it's actually that old. I didn't realize it was that old. I have climbed the highest oh, it's, I just realized it's her. Is this ScarJo again? Oh my god. Beautiful voice. I just realized there's no instruments too. Oh my god. Why, why does the lion look so sad? Well, I mean, I guess I've never really thought much about the lyrics. They are depressing as hell. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh my god. Oh, they're all singing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. That would give me goosebumps. Either being an audience member or the singer. Is he gonna join or something? No. Maybe? Oh, he's starting to cry. It's beautiful though. Oh, so there is someone else playing? Oh, oh, it is him. Oh my God, he's coming out. That's so cute. This is gonna be so gorgeous. <laughs> that would also give me mad goosebumps, good Lord. Oh my God. I love his voice. The power is so good. Wow. Listening to their voices independently didn't really lead me to think that their harmonies would be so nice, but wow, they meld really well. 
why is this so cute? I don't even know like the context of the relationship, but it's adorable. Why is this making me so happy? Like I said, the lyrics feel sad, but I can't stop smiling. How is like the beat somehow so contagious and making me tap my foot, even though it's not very like fast or even that prominent? His voice sounds familiar, but I cannot pick who it is. How are they flying? What? Oh, they're on stream. Uh are they? Or is that what? So much weird stuff going on. Oh, they're on a platform. Mission accomplished. I love the way the crowd keeps chanting. God damn. He's so proud. It's so cute. As I said in the last video, I just really like how they take those songs and do them in a refreshing and new way. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've heard that song, but I don't feel like there was a constant crowd chant throughout the whole thing. There may well have been. Regardless, I really like what they did there. It felt so atmospheric and they changed the melody a little bit throughout. So it wasn't just like a carbon copy. This next one, I am so curious for. Y'all have no idea. I loved Taron Egerton's song in the last one. So my God, looking at this and seeing Sky Full of Stars, presumably by Coldplay and knowing it's being sung by Taron Egerton, oof, I'm ready. Also, I want to note that I called Taron Egerton Australian in the last video. There are a couple famous Australian brothers that have the name Egerton, like there's Nash Egerton and Joel Egerton. And I don't know why, but I just assumed Taron Egerton was in that little group of brothers. He is not. He's Welsh. So my bad. Sorry, Taron, if you're watching this for misbranding you as an Aussie. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, it's playing piano. I didn't even think about that. I like how open his throat is when he sings this. Yo, my man is so much more showy here. What is this fit? Oh my God, what the hell? Why do I love this? In the last video, he was like, I don't know if the piano's like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna sing. I'm just a shy little gorilla. And now he's out here decked out in a full on costume, just ready to belt evolution. Oh, his dad's actually able to properly watch now. Oh, that's such a satisfying note. <laughs> She's like feeding him the lyrics. Oh my god. Killing it. Whoa, he's off the piano now. No, he's dancing. Oh my god. Okay, buddy. When did he learn to do all of this? Or was he just able to dance like this all along and he deprived me of seeing those moves when singing before? Is he gonna... No. Is he gonna attack him? He literally is. He's gonna go on stage with a costume? Okay, my man. What's this guy again? Okay, I'll teleport you then. Is he literally just gonna attack him on... What the hell? <laughs> if I was in the audience, I'd be like, this is awesome! The flames... What the shit? Okay, I mean, low-key, cool as hell. Got me bouncing in my chair to like a sword fight. You see, you will never be great. Bro, first off, why you're such a prick? Secondly, you know you're doing this in front of like 10,000 witnesses, right? Like you literally just assaulted a dude and now like, were you gonna smack him again? It would be so easy for Johnny to just be like, yes officers, that man there, please put him in jail. Just like flip him back. Oh, come Punch him in the face. What? Hell yeah. Smack him in the face! Man, the audience is getting a great show though. What the hell? Oh, they sped it up. Whoa! Damn. Bro is about to get demolished. Turn it into like a shout, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, bro, in the face. Damn, he didn't even, like, convert with another smack. Other guy's lucky. Oh, okay. 
He's like, you are king now. <laughs> I don't know why they were fighting. I don't know anything about their relationship. But what I do know is that was dope as f And that section there really helped to highlight what I was talking about with like them transforming songs because when they all started like slamming their sticks into the ground and smacking stuff, I'm pretty sure they did that way faster and maybe even sped up a bit more as he was doing all these crazy flips and sh**. And to me, it's just a really cool way to like change it up and also keep me engaged. Now, finally, Finally, the moment is here. I'm gonna be listening to Mina singing. I mean, I guess I did briefly hear her sing in the first song, but that's fine. It doesn't count. I wanted to hear this song. So I hope you're ready for Don't You Worry About a Thing. Mina, what's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, oh. I can't move. Does she have like stage fright or something? Terrified. Oh, that's so sad. And remember what I told you. You will not feel afraid anymore if you just start See. That is honestly, like, genuinely so true. <laughs> Almost invariably, the lead up to performing is like way more nerve wracking than actually performing. So many times when I've been on stage, I've been like anxious and nervous. But as soon as I like speak the first word or sing the first note, everything just seems to fall into place and you feel way less nervous. Oh, it's so cute that they're supporting her. <laughs> the way she shuffled in. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably laugh too, but in a nice way. Oh, I believe in her, it's so cute. Well, I already know that her voice is freaking incredible, but I'm so interested in how she's gonna like start. Damn. It's so nice and high too. Oh, she's like hiding herself with her ears. I was gonna say, like, how can you be paranoid now because you are killing it? Ha! <laughs> He's like, wow, was I wrong? Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, her family's so happy. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, that fall down. Man, it would be so encouraging to see all those people like, damn girl, keep going, you are slaying. <laughs> the confidence coming out. Oh my god. She's like, damn, the audience is so on my side. Oh god. The trills, the runts. Oh, okay. This is one of those songs that just makes me like, oh, everyone is amazing at singing, I need to be better. <laughs> oh, wow, those like... Holy crap, all those notes! Oh my god, this is just like such a showy song. We're all reasonable individuals here. <laughs> oh god, what the hell, man? Get in, quick! Oh, thank you, sweetheart! <laughs> oh, what the hell? This turned into a horror movie. <laughs> I love seeing her personality come out. She keeps going higher every time. Okay, literally as I was like, damn, she went even higher. She got higher and then like a second later went higher again. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it's such a cute, carefree song, too. Oh god. She is like flying around here with her voice. Bun what the hell? The bu what? The bunnies just are like twerking in my face. <laughs> I mean, for real, I would be bouncing in that audience. Oh, How is she gonna like end with these flourishes? <laughs> How do people do this? Holy sh! What the hell? This video has just turned into me making various noises in shock at her, somehow making her voice go even higher and even more incredible. This song has just been a series of her one-upping herself. Oh God, what a big note. Holy shit. That was 
Oh my god, that was ungodly how good that was. Well, I can see why y'all wanted me to watch that so bad, because she was just flawless, like nothing wrong, and I, I can't fathom how someone can just bust that out. Especially with it seeming to be like effortless for them. Ridiculously good performance. I mean, honestly, ridiculously good performances from everyone. That was so good, so banging. And all I can say is that once again, I'm just rocked to my core by something that just has unexpectedly blown me away. And I'm happy about that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.